Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at making pie charts utilizing a CSV file. Let's get started. So first off, I'm going to go on and make a copy of our template file. Uh, and I'm going to call this uh, Pi example, uh, Pi CSV maybe. And let's go on and open up um, not my template file. I want the Pi CSV, and I'm going to grab all those files when I'm going to open up. And let's go on and actually maybe start out with a little bit of the styling today. Uh, so first off, let's go on and style the arcs. So first we're going to actually, um, specifically the arc text. Okay, and so in that arc text we want a font of 10 pixels with sans serif. Uh, let's also have a text anchor in here of the middle. Let's go on and also add in an arc path in here and we want to give it um, stroke in here of white. Okay, I we can actually even just write in white so it looks a little bit uh, more comfortable for you guys. Uh, and then let's also go on and uh, put in what else? A title in here. And uh, what we will have is a fill here. Um, uh, let's do teal. Why not? No, I don't like that. Um, title of uh, what do we want in here you know what let's just do our good old navy blue um, now do we want anything else in here let's actually let's make sure that this font is going to be uh, bold all right so we have in here our style uh, let's go on and see if um, what do we need to add in here? Let's go on and make an SVG. Uh, and what we want inside of this, its width will be 500. Its height will be 400, let's say. Uh, that's a pretty decent size for that. And then now let's go on and um, do our script. So what do we want in here? First off, let's go on and um, grab the SVG. Uh, what else are we going to want in here? Let's go on and create up the width. In here is SVG dot attribute in here width. Oh, and I need to put in commas in here. Uh, our height. Then let's also go on and create up our radius in here, which is again math.min. Uh, we want width, height, uh, div divided out, divided by two. So there we have um, all of our, um, uh, our stationary variables in there. So let's go on and also create up, I oh, want one more, excuse me, one more. Um, so SVG oh, G is equal to SVG dot append G attribute in here we want to transform we want to translate in here and we want the width divided by 2 plus comma uh, plus the height uh, and we want that also divided by 2 plus uh, closing parenthesis. All right, so we have that. Now we want to go on and create up our colors. Uh, and if, well, let me see if I have those uh, still up. Oh, I can pull them up. Uh, we want d3.ordinal, 
or scale ordinal. D3 dot scale ordinal. Um, and let me let me grab um, from my previous file. I want to grab those. I don't want to have to type them out again. Um, I had it D3 pi, and it was inside this example JS. So this is what I'm grabbing in here. Okay, and so all this is, is this is just kind of a nice rainbow uh, color scheme um, that I have saved. So um, let's go on and also create up uh, var pi in here so we can create up our, radi um, our radius, our inner and outer radius. Um, we want to return um, d dot percent. Um, oh, and let me let me pull up and show you the data that I um, am using today. Just some little fake uh, company data for market share. So again, one of the things that we would usually do if you have, for example, um, a pie chart, it's supposed to be part of a whole. Okay, so you have 100 percent, and then each of the wedges are going to be percentages of that section that we have. So in this instance here, we have um, four companies, companies A, B, C, and D, and the percentages of their potential market share. So that's what we're going to be grabbing in here. We want the percent value in there. Uh, we also are going to want to go on and create up our path. So this is going to be using the arc method. Um, and in here, we want specifically the outer radius, and that is going to be the radius uh, minus 10, um, because again, we don't want to use up the whole space. And then again, we are going to also create up an inner uh, radius of zero, because again, um, we don't we don't want a donut, we want a pie. Okay, um, and we'll, we'll make up a donut example um, later on. But we also are going to create up another arc as well, because we want to style the the names okay as well and so they're going to be in in a circle as well so they're also going to have their own path so we're going to call this the label um do i want to call it yeah i'll just call it label uh d3 dot arc in here and again what we're going to do is dot outer radius but here we're going to just make it the radius itself and then we also want the inner radius uh, to be uh, radius uh, minus, let's say, 80. All right, and then the next thing, let's go on and actually grab up our data. So d3.cs, SV in here, and we want, this is going to be in data dot, and I, market share dot CSV, I believe. Let me uh, let me double check. Uh, yeah, uh, market share CSV. Good. Um, so then we do here dot then we put everything inside here. So what we want is something like var arc is equal to g dot select all of the arcs. Then we're going to actually have our data pi data uh, dot enter. We want to append uh, in some graph g. Uh, why 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 why? I didn't name anything arc again. So that shouldn't be having an issue. All right. Um, and then we also want to go on and make an attribute in here of class arc. So arc.append in here, a path. We want um, the attribute in here to be uh, d of path. 
Then we want some attribute again being fill. So for what with whatever color. Um, and here we'll just return um, uh, color, and that would be something like um, d dot data dot company. Um, I think that will be good. So let's go on now and add in our text. So arc dot append text dot attribute in here. We want transform. Here we want to return again translate. Uh, whoops, no. Uh, return, yeah, return, translate here of the label. And we want the centroid, or centroid, uh, centroid of D, plus in here our ending bracket. And then we want to also add in text. So and this will be, again, function d and here we're going to return d dot data dot uh, company um, <laughs> all right so next up let's go on and do svg dot append g and then we want in here attribute again transform Uh, translate and here um, with divided by 2 minus 120 and then we want to add a comma plus in here our uh, 20 and an end parenthesis then let's go on and append text then we should be able to do something like um, text in here uh, uh, company uh, stats for 2020 and then we'll do we'll add this attribute in here a class of title so let's see if uh, we got away with this working and it says it doesn't like this var in here but that shouldn't really be a problem let's run it and see whoops oh it's because the server's not running all right so let's go on and run the server let's refresh oh, and i'm on the wrong pie chart uh pi csv Okay, so we currently have a null on the page, so let's take a look and see what's going on. We have an unexpected end argument, so let's go on and see where our argument has been missed. So it's telling me, what, what are you part of? All right. Somewhere I'm missing a parenthesis. So only thing that we're actually uh, missing here, let me I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit for you guys uh, so that we can see this. Uh, actually, when inside of this then statement, I actually need to cut all of this and just put function of data in here and paste our function. Let me just clean this up just a bit. Okay, and if I go back over and I refresh, notice now now we have our um, our data set. Now again, I think I prob we probably need to maybe shrink everything down a little bit, maybe make our text here bold. Um, so let's go on and do a little bit of cleaning. One thing is I really didn't like this um, red being the largest. So let me um, we only have four, right? One, two, three, 
four. So let me cut these. Let's see how that does. Oh, that makes it, that's offensive to the eyes. Um, let me put that, let's see, how about that? There we go, that looks a little bit better. Again, they're not very pretty. Um, and let's, uh, let's see here. We want to move everything down a little bit. Um, what do we want here? Where would we want to move it? Um, let's move this pie chart. Our labels are fine. Um, we want the title. Where did I put the title at? Oh, right here. Um, what do we want to do here? Let's do something like, um, I don't know, can we just maybe change change the size a little bit? Let's see. No, we have that bold. Um, what if we do change this to... Does that move in the right direction? No. Uh, let's do 25. Um, five. And that's still not going to be what we want. Um, Let's see. All right, so we're going to actually have to shrink the whole thing if we want this to look right. Um, so let's go on and look at our radius. Mm, outer radius. Let's do minus 20. Minus um, 40. All right, and then we need to move you in even more so let's do 100 uh, 150 there we go okay so now this actually looks still looks relatively terrible uh, with the color scheme at least that we picked but we have in here our full um, our full uh, data set for our market share um, for these company um, statistics again for A, B, C, and D. Um, hopefully this is going to be useful to you guys. Uh, next time we're probably going to make uh, this into a donut chart. If you like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.